Let's get ready to bake. Today I will be showing you how I make one of my favorite savory bread recipes, lemon rosemary fugas. So if you don't have a scale of your own at home, that is totally okay. I have attached cup equivalent measurements in the description box below. You only need four ingredients for the dough, flour, water, salt, and yeast. Same as the dough, you only need four ingredients for the topping. Olive oil, salt, zest of one lemon, and two rosemary sprigs. Grab a large bowl and pour in your water. Give a nice swish and dispense the yeast. Remember, the water needs to only be lukewarm. You don't want it to be scalding hot or you will kill the active ingredients in the yeast. Now let that sit for about five minutes. Pour in your flour, then salt. Mix the ingredients by hand, or for those of you that don't like sticky fingers, you can use a wooden spoon. I prefer to use my hands so I know that the ingredients are mixed thoroughly. Once fully combined, let the dough rest for 20 minutes so the flour can absorb the water. I like to use my silicone dough scraper to remove any excess dough that is left on my hand. While the dough is resting, let's prep our other ingredients. To zest the lemon, you can use a microplane or a fine cheese grater like me. It gets the same job done. Cleaned it up. Now onto the rosemary. Quick trick to picking rosemary leaves. Grab from the top of the sprig and pull down against the stem. Now carefully, finely chop the rosemary. Set both ingredients aside in a small bowl. Now that our dough has rested for 20 minutes, let's flour our workspace and work some air into it. Keep a small amount of flour beside you while you do this, just in case your dough begins to stick to your work surface. I'm only adding a little bit of flour here and there to keep my fingers from sticking to the dough. So if you've never kneaded before, that is totally okay. All we are doing is just folding the dough. Imagine the dough as a clock. Start from 12 o'clock, pull the dough up and stretch it down to meet six o'clock. Give your dough a quarter turn and do it again. Work it around two or three more times until the dough becomes a tight ball and is no longer loose and stretchy. It should have a smooth and round top once flipped over. Transfer your dough ball back to that same bowl you mixed it in. Cover with plastic wrap and let it rise for one hour and 30 minutes. Your dough should be noticeably lighter, larger, and filled with air bubbles. Poke, poke. If your dough is not like that, then let it rise for 30 more minutes. Oil a 16 by 24 inch rimmed baking sheet. With your dough scraper or your already oiled hand, place your dough directly onto the baking sheet. Quick tip, while you're working the dough, your baking sheet may want to sway side to side like that. An easy fix is to set a wet kitchen rag underneath the sheet to help stabilize it. So I decided to flip my dough over and save some oil, but if you don't feel comfortable flipping or want a crispier bread, then reserve two tablespoons of olive oil and pour it over the dough. Start to gently stretch the dough toward the bottom two corners of the pan and pull the top edge toward the top of the pan to form a large triangle shape. Combine the remaining olive oil, which should be about two tablespoons, the chopped rosemary, and the lemon zest in a small bowl. Mix with whatever utensil you have. Fingers work great too. Using a pastry brush, spread the lemon rosemary oil all over the surface of the fugas dough. Evenly sprinkle your two teaspoons of salt all over the top. Let the dough proof for 30 to 40 minutes. While the dough is proofing, preheat the oven to 450 degrees and set the oven rack in the center position. Our dough should now look a little bit thicker. 
Fugas is cut into a beautiful leaf shape. Using a pizza cutter, make a large cut at the center of the dough, making sure to not cut all the way through the top. Pull the dough apart a bit to make the cut a little wider. Now make three more cuts on each side of the center, arcing upwards like the veins of a leaf. And then pull the dough apart like you did with the center cut. Now put her in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until the fugas is golden and crisp. The aroma in your kitchen will be heaven. Look at that gold crispy beauty. Fugas is best eaten as hot as you can stand it. It's great with salad, it's great with pasta, and it's great on its own. The cuts in the bread are not only visually pleasing, but they also help you with getting a piece. So adding the olive oil on the baking sheet and on top of the wet dough helped give the fugas a crispy texture and beautiful golden yellow color. Share this with your family, friends, or neighbors. This recipe is delicious, unique, and wonderful for sharing around the dinner table.